Welcome to another NLC Expert Services Consulting video. The genesis of many of these YouTube videos are real world questions from clients or potential clients or depositions from opposing counsel, all kinds of you know questions I'm asked that I really consider common sense, but a lot of the time we may not know the answer if you're not a land surveyor. And I love giving that land surveying knowledge to landowners, attorneys, other places. So here's the question. Why does it cost so much? Why does it take so much time to do a land survey, to do a boundary survey in particular? I was asked this question at a recent deposition based on why did you not do a survey yet? Well, why does it take so much time, resources, to do a boundary survey? And that's a simple answer. Because every boundary survey requires four steps. The first step is the research stage. And that's where you go out and you find the deeds, the plats, all the conveyances of the property. And once you have these, you know, written documents, conveyances, you've got to plot them up on a computer and basically make a mosaic. Second is the field work. Once you know what you're looking for, you're looking for monuments, you're looking for bearing trees, you're looking for rebar. Now you have to go out to the field and actually find those items. So the field survey is really where you go out, you get the equipment, and you find all of the items called for in the conveyance. Now, how long does a field survey take? Well, sometimes it only takes a few hours. Went out to Dallas in October, and I was surveying one property. But in order to get the you know, valid results I wanted, I had to survey several other properties around the neighborhood. I went out there and I found so many survey monuments in like an hour. I was just hitting it one after the other. It was incredible. But other times it could take days. You know, sometimes you're just unlucky. And when you're unlucky, it takes a long time to find the monuments. But just because it takes time does not mean you can simply blow past this and set your own monuments because then you would be causing havoc in the entire community. So we've gotten the conveyances, we've gone to the field, found the survey monuments and the other evidence. Now we have to weigh the evidence. You know, you are going to have conflicts in every boundary survey you do, but luckily, the legal principles that underlie the profession tell us natural monuments have a higher standing than artificial monuments, or calls for an adjoiner are senior than bearings and distances. So we basically just have to use the rules of land surveying to determine where the boundary actually exists got the conveyances, did the survey in the field work, did the analysis, and the last part is, you know, telling everyone what you've done. And you do that in two ways. Number one, you make a survey map. And number two, you write a written survey report. The survey map is the graphic and the survey report explains all the things you do in a graphic. So we've gone through, we've done all four steps, find the conveyances, do the field work, perform the analysis, make the survey map and plat, and finally we can deliver that to the client. And if you can imagine how long each of those steps take, anywhere from a few hours to a few days, now you can appreciate just why your survey takes so long and costs so much.